years ago, my first time at Film Bazaar, I was lucky enough to meet with the director and the producer of Court, Chaitanya and Vivek. And uh, right there from the start, I thought, oh, this is a very interesting project, I should follow up with it. And throughout the last two years, we've been keeping in touch, and then eventually, earlier this year in the summer, they managed to show me a cut of the film, and I was like, oh, wow, this is a great film, we should definitely have it in Venice. And I managed to convince my colleagues as well, and it worked out very well. So I am back here for obviously this very reason. I'm hoping that this second time in Film Bazaar will bring me to find a, a new court. We hope, I guess we all hope in Venice that we will be able to find another great project like that one. And I guess Film Bazaar is exactly the right place where to look for it because Film Bazaar is definitely the key, the best uh, industry event in the South Asian region. If you're looking for uh, quality, uh, entertaining, but also thought-provoking kind of content from the region, this is the place where you have to be and where you have to scout for new talents. Well, Film Bazaar has given me the opportunity to meet many people in the local industry, meeting filmmakers, producers and other players who are coming up with their projects and this is exactly what we need in Venice because we are working only with world premieres so we are always uh, trying to be ahead and knowing what is coming up not only within the same year but maybe in the perspective of future years. That is what happened with Kurt for example because as I mentioned I was here in 2012 that was the time when I met with Chaitanya, the director, and Vivek, the producer. The film didn't have a script right there. I mean, it only had the concept, the synopsis, and we started talking about it, and we kept in touch. So it took actually two years before Court came to Venice. So maybe we will be harvesting the fruits of this uh, film bazaar in 2016. Let's see how it works. Sure. I mean, uh, Film Bazaar has already established itself as a key event for anybody who is interested in India and the whole wider region of South Asia. Um, I think NFDC has done an incredible work and gave a great contribution to the local industry, to the local film scene, connecting the local filmmakers and producers with the, the whole network of uh, uh, festival representatives, sales agents, co-producers from Europe and beyond. And in that sense, I think that is this is really fostering a bright future for the new generation of Indian filmmakers. In that sense, NFDC definitely responded to the mission it has. Well, in the past uh, six or seven years, the time that I've been working with Venice, there has been a surge of new talent that has brought back India in the world map, in the world map of film festivals. You know, for the longest time, unfortunately for 20 years now, India doesn't have a film in competition in Cannes, but I'm pretty sure that something is moving, that many of the talents that we have been discovering also in Venice throughout the recent years, like Gurvinder Singh, Amit Datta, and now Chaitanya Tamane, might be the ones who break this, uh, this spell, this dry spell for India in the competitions of Cannes and Venice. So I'm pretty sure that in the next few years there will be some new big name from India that will establish himself or herself as an A-class filmmaker that will win even more awards than Court has done so far. If you check the list of films from uh, uh, films that have been select Indian films that have been selected to the major festivals like Cannes, Venice, and Berlin, you will find out that many of these projects actually started here. And this is definitely the, the, the best way of checking what the the result, what the payoff of a, an initiative like Film Bazaar has been. So. Uh, this should go on, this should go on this way, even improve and uh, expand. Um, it's definitely the right thing to do to help Indian cinema regain and expand its visibility in the international circuit. Is there any the two most interesting uh, sections of Film Bazaar are on the one, on the one hand is the co-production market because there and then you get to meet the new people, the new directors and get to know about the new projects with a large advance and also 
to the opposite end, the work in progress sections that are available in the viewing library. I mean, the viewing library has a great selection of films, and especially those that are being completed, those that are work in progress, that are getting ready soon, are very important for us because they are the ones who could be world premieres in Cannes or Venice in a few months' time.